This is Timothy Matthias. And, uh, well, Outcast Night is somewhere up there. I don't know. Anyway, what I'm making today is elderberry oatmeal. So we got the elderberries right here. And I just pulled them from all these branches. That was actually quite a pain. So let's just zoom in so I don't get the camera dirty when I'm zooming in. Yay. Anyway, yeah. Put them in the freezer and then just now I just microwaved them for a few seconds to get it uh, all, uh, well, easier because it makes it easier to pull them off the things. It ensures there's not leftovers. I mean, there are some leftovers, but they're like so tiny that you could actually eat them and it wouldn't matter. So you know what? I, I'm going to leave them on, yeah. Just little things here and there. And I, you can never get all of it off. Well, you can eventually, but I'm, not, I'm too lazy with that. So now... I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in with the oatmeal that I'm making. Well, the oatmeal is more closer to cream of wheat, actually. I think because I put a little bit too much water in it. It's really hard to tell sometimes. But I think that the uh, LA Ridge would actually um, help add flavor to it. So. So we're gonna just add this in, and uh, the thing about elderberries that's interesting is that it's actually they're actually poisonous, right? And so uh, if you uh, make it, uh, let me just sit this right, where's a good place to put it? Like right there. So if you just uh, eat them raw, you might get sick or something. I, mean, I don't really know like how sick you get or how much elderberry it would take to get sick. Because I've never actually gotten sick from elderberries, and I've never really eaten them raw either, except maybe in small doses, which doesn't really count. Maybe like one or two. But uh, yeah, that's what. Uh, all well, the information says, all well, the information on the ED internet, like Wikipedia, and that information is actually sourced to scientific journals, but. Mm. That's good enough. From here, stir it right in. It's a nice purplish flavor, which is awesome. It kind of looks tasty now. And elderberries, although they have some sugar in them, for the most part they're not really that sweet. So we're going to add a little something to bring out the flavor in them. Not to mention the flavor in the actual oatmeal, because the oatmeal is unflavored oatmeal, because food bank food is awesome like that. It's unflavoredly awesome. I'm going to take the honey, just put a lot of honey in there because I like fatty foods like that. Oh, I'm out of honey. No money, no honey. What was that one YouTube Mexican whatever video? With the animals. That was funny. That's going to take it. Taste interesting. It's pretty much elder, elderberry and honey oatmeal. This, let this cook for a little bit longer to get, make the consistency a bit thicker and also to uh, get the elderberries to cook in better. 
and then we're going to eat it. So this is Timothy Matthews and uh, not Alcaz Nightshade and him being, well, doing whatever. And, uh, I'm going to enjoy this next meal with some friends. Yay!